Greetings Commanders, I'm Utah Santiago and welcome to the Breach. I'm on Himmelsdorf in my Carnarvon. Now, the Carnarvon is not a natural street fighter. It's got very weak side armour so it's no good at side scraping. The lower glacis is very weak and the ammo rack is just behind this lower glacis so it's very easy to get ammo racked. So at the moment I've uh, taken up position on H3, I'm looking down the map and covering the Tiger P that's just moving up. Now I don't want to really be the uh, primary pusher in this match. I'm just not designed for it. Even though I'm a heavy tank, I work a lot better as a support tank on the back of the ridge line, just like the British medium tanks. Just like a Centurion, I get a 20 pounder gun, so I don't have the, the punch of a normal heavy tank. Now here you see me pushing further up in support of the heavy tank. You see a lot of tanks around the D8 area and what I need to do is push forwards, there's no tanks on my street and support them by putting some flanking fire into them and hopefully distract them and give the tanks at G8 a chance to push forwards. I have binoculars, camouflage and a toolkit on Carnarvon. This is my uh, standard setup on a tank if I don't know whether I'm going to keep it. But I'm going to come up to this corner and have a peek around and see what I can see. And I get a nice side shot on the 29 and pull back because there's a lot of tanks over in that direction. And as I pull back, I take a bounce now, pull forward, and take a good shot at that nice Indian Panzer, ammo racking him. And then I see the 112 rushing at me. Now, as I've said, I've got a very weak lower glacier, so I don't get, want him to give any shots in that, so I pull back, and I come down the corner, I shoot. Damage his track, but then I let him come as close as he possibly can, so he can't get good shots on the low glaciers or my upper glaciers really, and he's really going to have to shoot me in the turret. And obviously, what I do is I shoot him back in the turret and go for his weak cupola. Now, luckily, because I've pulled back, I've given the tanks further up the in the uh, tiger uh, shots on the rear of the tank. Somebody sets him on fire and I finish him off. And then I go and say, thanks. I pull back round the corner, see what tanks are available to me, and look up at the reason I there, and then I see the T29. And here you're going to see a few shots and shows that the gun is quite accurate but can troll you sometimes. So I put a good shot in. Here. Do a module damage damage is uh, viewfinder, not very good at this range, but I've, I've done a lot of damage to him and he's nearly dead. So then I aim at his weak spots again, keep shooting and keep missing. And the T29 gets from behind. Pull back a little bit while I'm reloading and then see that uh, Type 59 rushing to get away. Boom. No you don't. So. I'm thinking here what to do. Uh, I see that we've lost the hill and we've got a heavy and medium tank spotted and coming down the hill, but most of our tanks are right next to the cap. And I'm thinking we're going to win this by capping, so I might as well get points for capping. So as I come around this corner, the Tiger P asks for help, and I come and see these 3k in very low health. Plant a shot in him, boom, dead. So this is really the end of the game now, I'll come around the corner, everybody's milling in the cap circle. I see there's an enemy arty on the team, so I'm going to get arty safe, just in case the arty just decides to lob a shell into the cap circle, just hoping to get a, a random shot in. And this is really the, the end of the match, three kills, eight penetrations. Quite happy with how the Carnarvon has handled and what I've done in this match few seconds left. The enemy is a few more seconds base. left. And we're done. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Victory. Not a bad score. 2062. 1600 damage.
Thank you for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you on the other side.